this is the best one that I've made. And I, you guys, I don't even want to eat on camera because, you know, mukbang and all that. But this is worth it. It's chapel week. So what is a chapel? Basically, it's an egg and cheese waffle. So every recipe that we're going to do this week, whether it be savory or dessert chaffle, is going to start with one egg and one third cup of a cheese of your choice. Now, if you don't want to buy a bunch of different cheeses, that's totally fine. Just choose a mozzarella type of cheese. Mozzarella would actually be perfect. It's extremely mild. So it works in really any flavor combination that we're going to put together. You can do a full fat cheese or a light. It won't make a difference. We're only going to use a third cup. So this will be diet friendly, whether you're on Weight Watchers or keto or low carb, or maybe you just want something super fancy every now and then that looks fun for your family and the kids. So what are we going to need for Chapel Week? The first thing you want to start with is your little mini chapel maker. It's also a waffle maker. So this is obviously small. This is made by Dash. I got this one on Amazon. You can anticipate to spend about 10 bucks. They're not expensive. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Non-stick. I'll put a link below. Grab yourself one. They're inexpensive. So our base, what we need to start with is one of these cute little mini waffle makers, one egg and a third cup so we can add our cheese to it. So now let's jump in. Hi everyone. It is Friday and today is our last chaffle in this chaffle series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have really enjoyed creating all these chaffles. We did a pizza chaffle, chaffle italiano. We did one that was Mexican. We called that one chaffle ole. We did a blueberry one. Today is going to be the creme de la creme. Today is Mississippi mud pie chaffle. In our bowl, we have our usual one egg, but instead of our usual one third cup of cheese, we're gonna use cream cheese this time. So you're gonna need one tablespoon of sugar-free chocolate fudge brownie mix, one teaspoon of Philadelphia cream cheese. This is the one third less fat that I'm using today, but you could use full fat if you prefer. Then we also need one half a teaspoon of pure vanilla, one tablespoon of the Birch Benders Paleo Pancake Mix. And you're going to use, I can't believe it's not butter spray or something like it, in your chaffle maker instead of olive oil spray this time. And you're just going to get that mixed up in a bowl. So as always, we're going to go ahead and get this poured in. Now this one will sometimes make three. So see, we have quite a bit left. So we'll see how this goes. So all you're gonna do is close that up and we'll let that go for a couple minutes. Okay, last one in the series. Let's see how it looks. This smells so good. Take a look at that. Perfect. Are you ready for the grand finale? Look at that. Oh my goodness. So that is sugar-free caramel syrup drizzled on there. And if we really wanted to gild the lily, we could take this chocolate sugar-free syrup. Oh, yeah. Now, we wouldn't want to eat this one for breakfast. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe you would. <laughs> but this is a heck of a dessert one. This tastes like a diet-friendly Mississippi mud pie. 